Hello, my name is Piotr Świnczycki. I'm an experienced English teacher, a teacher trainer and materials writer. And I'd like to draw your attention to this new course, Job Hunting in IT. Successful job interviews for software programmers and developers. So I assume you're a computer programmer and also a learner of English. And um, you're thinking about uh, changing your job. Uh, maybe you're looking for a new job in your field, or maybe you're in the process of preparing for a job interview. So I have good news for you. You've just found a course exactly for you. We have prepared a course which will help you not only survive, but also be successful in your coding job interview. Now, there are many things that can go wrong during the technical interview. And that's because coding interviews usually have many stages. They may take a few hours, even one full day, and they check many aspects, not only your coding skills, but also your communication skills and your personality. Now, many people prepare for the technical interview only on the computer. That's bad strategy, because you may be faced with a whiteboard challenge in which you have to write code on the whiteboard. Another common mistake is taking your coding skills for granted and not preparing enough for answering technical questions. Others try to memorize solutions or answers to tricky coding questions that they find on the net. Bad strategy too. Another big mistake is not preparing yourself or not preparing yourself enough for answering behavioral questions. And this is one of the aspects that we take care of during our course. We, we tell you how to prepare for answering behavioral questions and um, what to say during this stage of the interview when you are asked behavioral questions. Another thing that many people don't do or forget about doing is practicing with a colleague or friend and then asking this person for feedback. So if you can, please do this. If you cannot afford to ask someone to, to give you some, some tips and uh, to give you feedback, you can record yourself, listen to the way you answer questions or tell some stories about yourself and just draw some conclusions, what to improve during the interview itself, uh, people make mistakes as well. So what are the mistakes? For instance, forgetting about the importance of small talk and forgetting about the importance of maintaining conversational approach during the whole interview. What you want to do is, want, is you want to show that you're a great communicator, that you're a good team player and uh, uh, you have to you have to just remember about this. Another mistake is using language in a way which sounds too direct or even too aggressive. So in our course we explain uh, how to use your language uh, to achieve politeness. That's very important. Another mistake is uh, jumping straight into writing code. Well, this is bad strategy. You should always make sure you ask the interviewer questions and that you clarify all the details. Hmm. Talking too little when solving problems uh, is a bad strategy too. So what I'd like you to do is to make sure you explain your thought process when answering technical questions, when writing code. It's very important that you don't do this in silence. You have to share your thoughts and you have to share your strategy in solving technical questions with the interviewer. Talking too much when answering behavioral questions is a common mistake as well. So in our course, we explain how to do this in the way that is um, effective and not too long. So, don't worry, in our course we've included dozens of tips how to overcome these issues and get you prepared 
from that coding interview. So take the course and get the dream coding job that you want. Thank you very much.